So you want some good news? Well, it starts out bad. Yesterday, we mentioned the cold-blooded murders of two seniors named Paul and Lydia. Every day, they visited their son's grave at Delaware's Veteran Memorial Cemetery. Then last month, there, they were shot dead by a lone gunman. Amid the pandemic, the story went largely ignored. Paul was an Army vet. Lydia was a loving mom. They had three sons, six grandkids, and two great-grandchildren. I bet you didn't hear about them until you watched The Five. I found out that a stranger, Chris Miller, a member of the Honor Guard who performed at the cemetery, set up a GoFundMe page to help the family pay the funeral costs. So I figured, why not help? Last night, the donations climbed from mere thousands to over 90 grand. Now, I'm not blowing my horn. I'm blowing your horn. Those who watched the show last night and chose to help, you're the best. So what's the lesson? That people want to help if you let them. If your car breaks down in Texas, there's going to be four pickup trucks pulling over to help. If you slip on a sidewalk, two pedestrians will help you up. When there's a disaster, people pitch in. This is vital to note as we're caught in a whirlwind of demonic smears. When anchors of networks say all of America is irredeemably racist. When we have politicians who prefer vengeance over conversation. When we have angry activists who say it's legit to destroy somebody's business. When we have mobs who beat people down rather than help them up, we need to remind those people what decent people actually do. We assist. We sacrifice. So who else needs help? Officer Shay Mikolonis, age 29, was shot in the head during a recent Vegas protest. Shay's paralyzed from the neck down, unable to speak. What can we do for him or his family? That's the thing about helping out. It's easy. It's addictive. And it feels great because it is. So, uh, Dana, Officer Mikolonis, uh, they had a GoFundMe page expecting five grand, and now it's up to 155000 But he's going to require lifelong care. So I don't know if we're even – I think this should be a trend, but we should – people should go seek out Officer Mikolonis's GoFundMe page and do what they did for the Marinos last night. Do it for him because he needs it as well. One of the things that is so remarkable, and you and I talked about this a bit last night after the show, is that – um, it is an honor to be on this show. It's a real privilege to be on this show. We've been doing it. We're in our 10th year now. And over and over again, I am always just blown away by the generosity and love that our viewers show to one another. And we really, really appreciate it. Yeah. You know, Juan, it's true. Even though some of our viewers get mad at you, you got to admit, if, if, if your car broke down, they pull over and help you. I think they do the same for you, Greg, even though they get mad with you. I think that what we've got here is, is America, America standing up. And I just love it, you know, to see Americans reach out and, you know, give some comfort to a grieving family in either situation. And to take to, you know, Americans rise up out of a bad situation and make good come of mm -hmm. it. And I just think that's wonderful. It's great for the five family. You know, I, I think it's got to extend to all the damage that we see done to people. I don't care who does it, but when you have empathy and love in your heart, boy, you make a difference. You do make a difference, America. Mm -hmm. Dave, this GoFundMe thing is great. Is great. I know they, 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 make, they make some money off of this, but it makes it so much easier to help people. It, it, it yeah. does, and, and reach out to people instantly. I just want to thank all of the five viewers who supported me through my mother's cancer fight on social media and, and even after her death. Because social media, you know, it's a pit of bile and venom. But people literally, there's a woman named Marion Syverson who tweeted me several times a week, if not daily, throughout my mom's lung cancer battle. And after her death, she still does it. All she tweets me is X's and O's. But you know what? It shows kindness and a generosity of spirit and who we really are, not just Marion, but who we are as a nation. Uh, Jesse, I think that it's great that, that this is that we we realize humans are naturally inclined to help other humans, even you, Jesse. <laughs> well, it's funny that you say that because yesterday I wasn't going to donate, but then when I saw we were doing this segment today, I had to donate because I wanted to tell everybody on television that I donated. That <laughs> makes me feel really good. 
And then, Greg, <laughs> you, I just have to say, you did do a really good thing. And, and it really stands out because you rarely do such good things. And I just want to compliment That's you. true. Because I do think you're entering <laughs> a new phase in your life, just like the country's going through phases. Greg's going through phases. This is kind of maybe your Baroque period. You've got a tan. My wife said you look very thin. You got the black T-shirt like you're a very successful actor. You've now bought a tactical shotgun. I think you might be going to church. Are you going to church? We're going to have to wait and see. <laughs>